industrial policy probably is one of the most contentious issues uh, in the sphere of economic policy making presently. The Retina project, which, which is about brownfield development, is not directly focused on industrial policy, but uh, more focused on creating, let's say, urban environmental conditions for developing new policies. This is uh, what, what has been done in the, in the past three years in uh, countries in Central and Southeast Europe. What I think we should focus on is creating an environment that's inducive to reindustrializing Europe and at the same time to help Europe overcome some of the impediments that we've run into with a present development model, most particularly with regard to environment and climate. Industrial policy must permeate all EU policies. It's not so much being made by the industry commissioner, it's much more made by um, his colleagues when it comes to climate policy, energy policy, internal market policy, setting standards in telecoms, etc. And all those initiatives we have called on so-called industrial competitiveness proofing, so that all those initiatives are being pr uh, proof that they don't hamper industrial development in Europe. These previous brownfields areas are, are also should be considered. They are also close to to, uh, to urban areas. Sometimes they are even in urban areas, so they can easily be a, a motor for 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 job creation and development. We have to re-industrialize, we have to promote competitiveness and we have to promote sustainability at the same time. The European business community does not believe in um, politicians choosing future industrial growth markets and therefore supporting them artificially through subsidies. For us indeed industrial policy within Europe normally first of all means don't do anything. There's still people saying, well, why would we pursue industrial policy? Couldn't we rely on the market? My answer would be, let's create a good framework condition for creating competitive advancement, but let's make sure that we won't fall by the wayside because other regional developments that rely very uh, heavily on a centralized industrial policy would outcompete us. We think the EU would have a role to play in defending, so to say, European industry uh, when they try to expand their markets into, uh, into countries where it's not so easy to do business. In the context of the relationship between the economy and the environment, one of my favorite quotes is, there ain't no such thing as a free lunch. We're treating the environment as, as if there were. So let's put a price on CO2 and then by creating that framework condition, let's make the industries compete over being more energy efficient.